Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India come back and continue the discussion on this uh, turbofan engine rather uh, right now we are talking about this hybrid engine. So, the uh, hybrid engine that means either one side you could have the ram based cycle, the other side you could have turbine based cycle and the turbine based cycle could be of uh, turbo jet based or turbofan based. Uh, based and the ramjet could be um, a ram based cycle could be of ramjet, scramjet or dual mode, uh, dual combustion scramjet. And then there are different configurations which are possible and we have seen some example also. Now we are going to and also talked about the future technological challenges uh, for this uh, aviation industry in uh, together. Now we, go, we are going to um, look at uh, some of this uh, uh, engines uh, details. Uh, Let us start with some TBCC engine and the propulsion system integration. So, the propulsion system integration specially there uh, I mean obviously we are talking about this uh, hybrid engine where you have either ram based cycle or the turbine based cycle and the um, uh, there could be uh, important aspect of propulsion system configuration. So, which means um, either we could have wrap around configuration and we will see some examples so that you will get an idea about what we are talking about here or over under configuration. And the differences uh, between these two primarily are where the let us say the position of ram with uh, respect to uh, turbine base or uh, cycle or turbojet cycle or so the position of a b of turbojet let us put it very specifically a b of turbojet with uh, respect to the ram. So, that is what we said the propulsion system integration is also important and this the installation configuration of let us say ram uh, wrap around configurations I mean uh, we can see like um, this is one of the wrap around configuration which is a uh, for engine S R uh, 71 and that is uh, what it is. And uh, the other one which is uh, there like um, one can have also this is one of the example other uh, could be that uh, which could be fused like Griffon 2. So, though I do not have the picture here, but you can see that that is also fuselage kind, but here you can see this is the turbine based cycle, this is ram based unit uh, and that is a combination. This is just an example, this is a wrap around cycle. Now, when you talk about over under configuration or over under turbo ramjet, then uh, there could be possibility like this is an over under TBCC configuration where this is a separate intake and nozzle. So, this could be one co configuration or here it could have shared intake and nozzle. So, it is already can give you an idea how they look like this. So, oh, these are also comes under over under configuration over under configuration. So, and this example here is like that even even in a over under configuration 
there <coughs> could be one can have fuselage installation and uh, this is exactly what it is here. This is a fuselage installation, there could possibly have wing installation and there could possibly have tail installation. So, that means over and under configuration that means where um, either the turbine based cycle or the ram belt cycle one of them would be top of the other and that also can be done in a different ways like uh, where we configure that depending on that it could be now when it is a wing in, so this is a fuselage kind of installation there could be wing based installation where in the wing one could be in the top or the other or um, some could be the tail based installations where there could be um, installation. But you can see these pictures in um, some book or internet. Now another thing which would be important to the, the performance of this uh, performance of TBCC. So, that is also important because when we look at this uh, performance of um, TBCC or hybrid engines. So, there is a range where this could be operated and there is um, like you can see this is where the specific impulse is and uh, this is where turbojet works, where ramjet, where scramjet and this is um, different fuel when you used and then the different lines, dotted lines which were used for rocket TBCC and if you look at this um, aspect where the this shows the variation of the Mach number. Uh, and with the cycle variations. This is the turbine based cycle and this is the ram based cycle and that is where the hybridization gives an advantage and over this. Now, we can look at some of this uh, analysis of this hybrid engine. This is an one wrap around turbo ramjet. So, let us uh, look at that um, cycle analysis for that. Uh, so, operation as like we can, uh, so already we have done lot of detailed discussion, now we can draw the schematic TS diagram for the same. Let us say if we put the TSA diagram, then uh, this is point A, uh, this goes to somewhere. Uh, 8 and uh, or um, in between somewhere 2, this is then this goes to 3, then goes to 4, then this is 5 is 6, then this goes to let us say 0, 6, a B then uh, so we can mark separate way this is let us say 2. So, mark this 2 8 uh, 0 9, then we can have 7 a b, this is 10. So, here this is a solid line, this will also go solid line, this will come solid line and um, this also go as a solid line. Here, here the 
dot 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 this is so let us say this goes to dot 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 on this is like dash dot this could be dash dot like that. So, dot 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 is turbo jet a b off solid is turbo jet a b on dot dot this is ram jet operation. So, this is different situation and already if you see that means your A to 2 is uh, intake where the compression process with uh, where the compression process with isentropic efficiency of eta d then uh, 2 to 3 is compressor where the compressor takes place compression takes place with isentropic efficiency of eta c then 3 to 4 is combustion chamber where the heat addition at constant pressure takes place with uh, little pressure drop and combustor efficiency and delta p c c then uh, uh, 4 to 5 is your turbine where again expansion takes place with isentropic efficiency of eta t then 5 to 6 is afterburner where again the second round of heat addition takes place with uh, delta p a b and eta a b and then uh, 6 to 7 is nozzle where again expansion process with isentropic efficiency of eta n and the other uh, detailed cycle analysis of different conditions these are already done in details. So, the performance like specific thrust if we look at it uh, like T m dot a is 1 plus a minus a b v 7 minus v and T s f c would be uh, T s f c of turbo jet which is a plus f a b by T by m dot a. Similarly, uh, thermal a uh, propulsive efficiency eta p would be T by m dot a into v divided by T by m dot a v plus v 7 minus v square by 2 into 1 plus a plus a b and thermal efficiency would be T by m dot a v v 7 minus square into 1 plus a plus f a b q h v into a plus f a b and overall efficiency is propulsion into thermal. So, these are the things which the can be calculated. Now, we can look at if the operation as a ramjet engine only. So, if it is operation as a ramjet, the flow is passing through the processes and so like what are the part would be, so it will only have intake A to 8, then uh, combustion chamber 8 to 9. So, intake the compression process will take place with a pressure ratio R d, combustion chamber where the combustion will take place with uh, delta P c c and the nozzle uh, which will be 9 to 10 for the expansion we take with n n. That means, when it operates as ramjet, so these are the uh, stations which would be sort of active and then we can calculate the parameter like performance parameters 
like let's say t by m dot a for ramjet is 1 plus f r which is for fuel ratio for ramjet v 10 minus v and T S F C would be F R by T by M dot A into ram jet and um, our propulsive efficiency would be T by M dot A ram jet into V T by M dot A ram jet V plus V 10 minus V square by 2 into 1 plus F R and thermal efficiency would be T by M dot A ramjet V plus V 10 minus V square by 2 into 1 by F R by Q H V F R and overall efficiency in equals to propulsion. So, this is when it operates as a ramjet. Now, when it operates as dual mode. So, what would happen that time? So, when it operates as dual mode, then you get thrust would be of turbojet plus uh, thrust would be combination of ramjet, then the total thrust would be m dot a turbojet into 1 plus a plus f a b v 7 minus v plus m dot a ramjet 1 plus f r v 10 minus v and m dot a turbojet 1 plus a plus a b v 7 plus m dot a ramjet 1 plus f r v 10 minus m dot a total into v. So, similarly the specific thrust would be t by m dot a. So, t total by m dot a total. So, we can calculate and total fuel mass flow rate would be m dot a turbo jet a plus f a b plus m dot a ram jet f r and specific thrust m dot total. So, this let us say total by T total. So, that is what it happens. Now, also one can look at the over under turbo jet and over under turbo jet this is some of the example. So, where the propulsion system integration is done like this is a ramjet mode of that over under turbo jet and then this is another intake layout with different positions of the intake flat with subsonic and these things. Now, you can have one over under ramjet and can have look at this. So, this is uh, quickly the T s diagram. So, this is A. 0 2 uh, 8 3 0 4 comes to 6. So, 0 6 a b this is 0 5 0 6 and uh, this is again like So, so this will come 7 a b. So, this is 10, this is 0 9 and this is 7. So, again same thing. So, solid uh, line is turbo jet a b 1 dot turbo jet a b off this uh, ramjet operation. So, and the general block diagram would be like you have 
turbine based cycle, then you have a ram based cycle, then you get all the performance calculations. So, from this combined cycle where it goes let us say something comes here and then it goes V. Uh, so, from here it goes V turbo jet, from here it goes V ram jet um, and then finally, you got T by m dot a T S F C all this you can calculate. So, these are the calculations which you can uh, do where again like m dot turbo jet would be m dot a turbo jet by m dot a plus m dot f c c m dot f a b and m dot ram jet would be m dot a ram jet by m dot a m dot a plus m dot a ram jet. So, there is a two different fuel mass flow rate calculations which you can take and so this is how it looks like and that is so then your thrust would be m dot a like turbo jet v turbo jet plus m dot a ram jet v ram jet minus m dot a v f <coughs> and t by m dot a would be m dot a turbo jet by m dot a plus m dot a c c by m dot a plus m dot a a b by m dot a into v turbo jet plus m dot a ram jet by m dot a plus m dot a f ram jet by m dot a v ram jet minus v forward velocity. So, similarly T S F C m dot f c c by m dot a plus m dot a by m dot a plus m dot ram jet by m dot a by t by m dot a. So, this is how the performance uh, parameters can be calculated for this uh, dual mode kind of operation and then one can have the design procedure the procedure could be summarized like some basic uh, design procedure which could be put into place like um, one is the basically what you need for hypersonic or supersonic quiz aircraft propulsion integration. First is the mission or flight envelope to be selected. So, mission envelope to be selected second. So, the squeeze altitude is important for fuel economy point of view, take off climb acceleration. Then we can calculate the drag force based on the drag forces with Mach number and all these. So, calculate the thrust force. If it is greater than the drag force all over is Mach number, then some margin of percentage to be selected. Uh, then the number of engines which could be decided upon based on the minimum thrust which is suggested for the hybrid engines at different modes. Then performance calculations of each uh, constituents of this engine separately. Let us say for example, hybrid engine uh, has ramjet, turbojet and scramjet. So, each module has to be examined separately and then finally, the integration and 6 is optimization that means, this is very very important of this hybrid engine for different step 
uh, like specific thrust TSFC and then the switching point between when it is supposed to switch between ramjet and turbojet and which Mach number and all such things. So, just to conclude this uh, all this discussion with this uh, a schematic vehicle of the uh, future TBCC engine. So, this is a Lockheed Martin S uh, R 72 which are sort of conceptualized unmanned uh, unmanned hypersonic aircraft intended for intelligence surveillance reconnaissance and this SR 72 was also um, could be operational by 2030 because it is again what you see here it is a uh, over under configuration, here is the turbine engine, here is the dual mode engines and it will be based on turbine uh, TBCC cycle, turbine engine will be used initially to take off up to Mach 3 and then this dual mode ram jet engine will accelerate to vehicle uh, the vehicle to hypersonic speed um, something like that. So, the turbine and the engine shares the um, common inlet that provides air supply to both the turbine engine and the ramjet engine and also they have a common nozzle which is here. So, you can see this conceptualize or the sort of uh, futuristic vehicle. So, it has also variable inlet and nozzle uh, ramps uh, nozzle ramps open and close to match the cycle requirements. So, that is what you can see and that uh, sort of uh, pretty much uh, concludes the discussion on uh, um, uh, all this uh, turbine based cycles and also the hybrid engines and this give you a good idea about how this uh, different kind of engines which are in place today and what is going to be futuristic uh, uh, vehicle and how would they operate and what are the um, uh, kind of this combined cycle performance parameters and sort of things. So, we will uh, stop here and continue the other um, uh, discussions in the next lectures. Mm -hmm.